Capricorn, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading from April 1st to April 4th, 2021. Thank you for all the support on the channel, all the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the views. I appreciate you all. Please remember, 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a deck of cards. So when I get closer to that number, I'll have directions how to enter the drawing. So the oracle cards go here, which are all for you. The tarot cards over here, which are the energies around you. But you'll probably show up over here as well. So feel free to vice versa, the masculine and feminine. And if I'm applying a card to you and you feel like it applies to someone else, switch that out too. So the first one is 10 over your shoulder. So you're ending something. You're saying goodbye to something and you're going in a new direction. So jackpot, 40. So something is going to push you in a new direction that's going to be beautiful for you. So if you add 1 and 4, that would be 5. Change. So I feel like there's a very powerful change coming to your life that's going to make you very happy. And then 27, magnanimous me. So something is happening for you and to you that's going to make you feel very happy. Very powerful, Capricorn. So now I'm switching to the... Charcoal Wisdom deck for you. So the first one is Six of Coins. So Six of Coins is the universe feeling like you are deserving of what's coming to you. So a lot of people may be um, helping you, feeling like you're deserving something. And then you have Six of Cups. So Six of Cups is you healing from a past relationship. Something that you're still getting over. So Five of Cups. Five of Cups is somebody looking to the past, somebody missing you, or are you missing somebody? So the Hermit. This could be Virgo placement. This is getting answers like clarity. So the Hermit goes off by itself and then they get clear answers. They don't have anyone else's input. They make their decisions by themselves. So the next one is the world, Wow, well, Capricorn. So this talks about something shifting in your life where you're going to get clarity, where it's going to be beautiful. I mean, look at this. You have six of coins clarifying the world, which put, could possibly mean marriage or raising your vibration because you're being true to yourself. So the next one is four of swords, and it was upside down. So four of swords usually indicates somebody feeling... Like they spent a lot of time thinking about something and this is upside down so it just seems like somebody's healing but they don't think about something as much as they once did. So Ace of Coins is success and victory so I do feel like whoever is missing you or looking back or if you're looking back on the past there's going to be success and victory over that missing somebody. So Nine of Cups. Somebody feels really beautiful, really strong and their life choices, how they can bring money into them, help them feel secure. So Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is my bad karma card. So it's clarifying the world. So I do feel like there's some bad karma concerning a love relationship where you took from somebody is what I'm feeling. You may have taken money from somebody is what I'm feeling because we started with this card back there. So Nine of Swords. So there's regret. There's regret around uh, somebody getting negative karma that something didn't go the way they wanted it to. Seven of Swords. So somebody was very sneaky. Somebody lied. Somebody tried to stop somebody from getting their success in their coins. And I do feel like there is yeah, lying, manipulative energy, and regret in that sense. So the Magician. So the Magician talks about dreams, but it also could mean that somebody is trying to mess with somebody's dreams. Somebody is trying to play with somebody's dreams. This could interpret as black magic for some of you, that somebody is trying to do black magic to keep somebody from getting something they want. So Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is somebody getting rid of somebody. They're cutting something out that's no longer good for them or in their life. They're done. And they're telling the person, I'm done. This isn't working. So this is Justice. This could be Libra. But this is something balancing out. So the regret is going to balance out as soon as something gets cut out of the life. So Princess of Swords is spying. So there's a lot of spying on whoever 
was lying and trying to cause problems or spying to see if their lies have been worked out correctly. So then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So you have the Wheel of Fortune verifying the magician. So I do feel like a lot of you have manifested some new beginning and a new beginning is coming forward to you. The universe is going to balance something out on somebody who wasn't for your highest good and they're going to bring good fortune to you. It's fate. So the next one is the cat. So the cat is my precursor to taking a leap of faith. This is usually going towards a love situation. And then you have two of sky. So two of sky is somebody trying to make a decision about something in the past. Something that they have been carrying around for a long time. And they're getting ready to take a leap of faith that I feel like they want to do it differently. So the lovers, Capricorn, this is Gemini placement. And then you have Ace of Earth. So Ace of Earth is an illusion around a family structure, wish fulfillment dreams, something that wasn't being truthful. So Ten of Sky. So Ten of Sky is somebody feeling backed into a corner. Somebody feels very stressed out. I feel like they could be getting um, emotionally or verbally abused for their choice of love or the choice they want to make. Other people could be making them feel really strapped trapped and stuck in a situation. So the next one is chariot. So somebody wants to communicate with you. I feel like you're going a new direction. Three of fire. So three of fire is somebody looking to the universe asking why things are going the way they are. So there's some questions about the new lover situation. And then five of C. Five of C is um, embarrassment. So I feel like somebody is ashamed or got embarrassed over a situation with um, an illusion. Somebody got caught lying, I feel like, or manipulating somebody. So the next one is the wheel. Wow, you've had a lot of major arcana in this. So the wheel is another fateful card. That because of the situation where you fell back into corner, somebody did where they felt like they were kind of getting abused and they couldn't get out of it, the universe is sending something into a more peaceful life structure. So somebody's life is changing from how stressful it was. So Nine of Sky. So Nine of Sky talks about not being able to sleep about the new direction you or somebody else is taking. And then Eight of Sky. Eight of Sky is somebody feeling trapped in a family structure. Like somehow the family is making somebody feel strapped and stuck like they can't get out of a situation due to family but it's more in their head thinking that it's totally possible to get out of that situation so try looking at it a different way Capricorn and then the Empress so somebody is embarrassed about the Empress situation the Empress is somebody who's very nurturing loving very beautiful has a lot of um, new beginnings so the next one is Fire Tom. So Fire Tom is somebody who takes a lot of chances, somebody who doesn't care if they hurt other people. And then Eight of C. Eight of C is somebody selfish. So somebody is very worried because of how selfish they were or are. So the Hermit again. So again we have the Virgo placement. This is abundance, a tree of life, clarity, and abundance coming so this could be, again, you're pulling away from other people to get clear messages for yourself that will bring abundance. And then the next one is the world. Wow, you've had the world twice. So the world is clarifying the Empress. So I do feel like a new beginning is going to happen for you that you are going to be very happy about. Things are changing. You're going to be happier than you probably ever have been. Between the jackpot and the magnanimous me, but you have to walk away from something and end something. And let go of selfishness. So the first one is Heal Thyself 24. So this talks about healing yourself. You could be healing yourself from a love hurt. You could be healing yourself from a sickness, a medical condition. But you are healing. And then Communication 18. So communication talks about you're getting signs from the universe. Your loved ones in heaven are trying to give you messages. You're getting messages and songs, dreams while you're sleeping and they're trying to tell you that you can heal yourself by listening to the messages the universe is trying to give you. So five heart healing number five. So they talk about you somehow love slipped through your hands. There was a situation where you got hurt really bad from a love situation 
and you are hurt really, really bad. Your heart is broke, and you're in the process of healing it. Your emotions are kind of off balance, but they're saying you're going to heal and to communicate properly to help yourself heal. So the next one is Every Step Counts 10. This is a new to branch gill. You have 10 over your shoulder, and every step counts and heal yourself. So something is ending, and it may seem kind of slow to be moving forward, but every step will count towards your happiness. The next one is where you need to be 26. So this is acknowledge how you are feeling, have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. This is the blue dragon which is poisonous and they go with the flow. So there's something about you're where you're supposed to be, every step counts and you are where you're supposed to be because because this is poisonous, I feel like there's some emotions you're going to direct at somebody that is going to close a door. Something is going to be righted because of where you are right now. Something's going to work out that way. Alright, so the next one for you is Trader. Exchange energy to create abundance. So this talks about change, exchanging energy with people who appreciate you. Try not to go with people who don't appreciate you, like be around their energy. Try to be around people who are happy because that raises your vibration. And then warrior, be fearless and stand strong. So whatever you're getting ready to go towards is making you a little fearless, a little fearful. They're saying you're going to overcome your fears and they want you to go at it really strong. They want you to be aware of your energy but go at it standing strong. I feel like this is like past life knowledge when I see the warrior too because of the face paint and stuff is what it makes me think of. And this is like a totem pole there. So I do feel like you are getting ready to get a lot of light codes, if you will, or messages um, on how to transform and how this transformation is going to take place for you and it's going to make your life way more positive and happier. So thank you so much. Bless you, Capricorn.